New Year's Eve, people getting ready to party and police, by the way, gearing up to nail drunk drivers and controversy today over the government's new anti-drunk driving campaign. There's no way to hide it. If you drive drunk, we will find you. Cops everywhere are stepping up enforcement and cracking down like never before. Sir, have you been drinking tonight? Sir, have you been drinking this evening? Sir, have you been drinking tonight? Sir, 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 notice that it's men and only men getting caught for drunk driving in those commercials. And our next guest says the government is attacking and profiling men. He's Mark Rudolph, the no-nonsense man. Vicki Ziegler disagrees. She's an attorney, and she's on set with us here. Mark, what is your point in this? You think the government is profiling men? Duh. When you go to your New Year's Eve party tonight, look around. Look at who's drinking and getting drunk. It will be the women. But that's not the way it works when the I, U.S. Well, government gets involved. When a woman drinks and drives, she's a feline. But when a man drinks and drives, he's a felon. And nobody ever got fired for bashing men, so the U.S. Department of Transportation is spending $7 million to produce these PSAs. And it's absolute nonsense. Vicky, come on. You got beat Mark like a rented mule. I mean, let, let's be realistic here. It is mostly men who get caught for drunk driving. Thank you, Brian. Let me tell you what the statistics are at this point. Between 21 and 35 of the d demographics shown, we're, they're the biggest high-risk individuals in this country. Now, you know that, Mark, that that's a fact, and that comes from the FARs. Those are the now, statistics. Now, I will take Mark's side. Maybe that's because the men are driving. It's well, sometimes they are driving, but I'm not saying women aren't getting convicted of, of driving under the influence and causing tragedies. That's not what we're saying. These, these, these campaigns are presently targeting men, that demographic. Why? Not to degrade them, but to teach them, enlighten them about what not to do. And Mark, perhaps you didn't see the recent campaign within the last two years that showed a female drinking at a party, getting into a vehicle as the operator, and getting into an accident. So this is certainly not a sexist video. This is not a sexist campaign. This is about teaching people not not to drink and drive. Why? 13,000 people in this country die because of drinking and driving accidents. What does that mean? 37 a day, 40 every minute. I'm glad you think so, Vicki, but you have it exactly backwards. Women are the ones who drink the most, and women are the ones who are, are protected by our government. As I said before, this government does not want to show women in a bad light. Can you imagine the roles reversed where a cop goes up to a woman's car, opens up the door, and white wine pours out, and then he cuffs her and puts her in the back of a squad car. That would never happen because she might break a nail. Mark, you're talking about two different things here. I'm sorry to interrupt, but no, is, I'm is not. it about the I can't stop that. Is it about Women the commercial are that you're driving. upset with? Mark, is it the commercial that you're upset if, with or the fact that the demographics I, prove that 21 to 34-year-old males in this country, uh, Caucasian and Hispanic, happen to be the, the bulk of where they're trying Mark, to focus on? Mark, you see, on. yeah, all the men in the commercial I think were Caucasian who got caught for drunk driving. I guess under your theory, we could have a racial discussion about this. I, uh, exactly. Vicky's basically saying she endorses profiling. If the government what? wants to eliminate drunk driving... Not. Yes, you are. If the government wants to eliminate drunk driving, the government should be talking to all people because all people are guilty of drinking and driving, all races and both genders. Mark, and they that's are not talking what the to people. That's what TV is about. It's nobody getting to the masses. Will ever get fired. Nobody will ever get fired for bashing men, and that's why these commercials are the okay. way they are, Vicky, and you know it. No, ac actually, you you're 100% wrong. We, well, you know what? We've got to leave I'm it there. I'm not 100% wrong, Vicky. Well, we got, listen, we've got to leave it there, Mark. Get on the trolley. Vicky, take the subway. Don't drink and drive. Party, but just, you know, ride the electric cars and the subways. <laughs> right, thank you very much, Mark Rudolph. The no nonsense man for coming on. Vicky Ziegler, attorney, thank you very much for coming on as well. And if I offended owners of rented mules at the beginning of the segment, I apologize. I know rented mules are also a protected class.